public education doesn't inspire you because it's not meant to. It's meant to despot. Really, public education is for you to respond reflexively to authority. That's it. That's the purpose of public education. Just summed up 12 years for you right there. There you go. Public education. When I say jump, you say how high. How high. That's it. Nothing about your culture. Nothing about the cultures you see every day in society. Nothing about law, medicine. And nothing, nothing about any of these things are more important for you to know than any historical figure of your country. You know, there's no reason to know the history of your country. I know that sounds crazy. I told y'all I was going to offend something. <laughs> this is where it starts right here. What do you need to know the history of your country for? There's no reason. You are the history of your country, modern day history right now. Your grandmother can tell you more about your country than any book written ever. This is who you should be talking to. This is who you should be getting your knowledge from. Knowing about this guy who made it this, and this is the king of that, and the queen of this, and this is useless information. Useless. And your brain is shoved with this, stuffed with this, for 15, 20 years. After a while, you don't know who you are. You think you're Queen Elizabeth. <laughs> <laughs> this is like, and this is what is called insanity. <laughs> this is insanity, but it's called sanity. Because if you could quote the history of the Dutch, for instance, and the Dutch did this and the Dutch did that, you're considered, you're considered sane, civil, educated. But what you're actually studying is useless. <laughs> useless. Now, I say this. I, I say this respectfully. I've got to say this respectfully. Okay? Of course you need to know Dutch history. Let me say that for the record as well. We all should know something about the lands in which we live. My point is, when you put that knowledge up against self-knowledge, cultural knowledge, inner being knowledge, this knowledge just does not hold up anymore. Just doesn't hold up. What you need is courage to be you. You need a reason and a right to stand on for you to be you. That's what hip hop, all, damn, did I say that evil word, all? I'm generalizing, it's something you never do in scholarship. All, all of public education in the Western Hemisphere is a lie, all of it, all, 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 all. A-L-L, all, every, all, okay? <laughs> all of it is a lie. The only solution is organized revolution. That's the only solution. But people are afraid of that word revolution, so we like to use the word change. If you like change, you have to go out. There's two types of people in the world. People who will wait for the violence to stop, or people who want to stop the violence. I could say trained by a corporation or trained by culture. In the book, it's Western education versus everyone else's model. Or, or Eurocentric education versus everyone else's model. We don't need those words. The more accurate word is cultural and corporate. This is the word, this is the better word to use. Because all Europeans, like for instance, all Dutch, all the Dutch did not enslave Africans. That's a lot. In fact, the first, the Portuguese, that actually came from Portugal, the first Portuguese were actually just trading with Africans and really had a robust trade going on for like 200 years. See, we're in 2013, so 200 years, like, oh, two days. No, 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 try to imagine what 200 years is like, okay? <laughs> the Portuguese, the Dutch, all of these Europeans, were actually trading with Africa and doing good business. Good business. It's the Dutch, the Portuguese, the French, the English, and the Spanish that came after. Like a hundred years after. Two hundred years after that started the history that we all know of today. Yes. Europeans keep invading Europeans. This is European history, this landmass, this landmass that we're on. One guy rises up and another one wants what he got 
kills him than someone else wants what they got. This is European history. One guy knocks off, another guy knocks off, another guy. France with England, England with this with Spain, Portugal, everybody fighting over the riches coming in from Africa. Everybody want to dice up Africa. Everybody want a piece of Africa, including the African herself. There you go. Everybody want a piece. Now look at the history you're studying. Look at the nature of your teacher. The nature of the teacher that we're learning. Public education. Corporate education. Invade. Colonize. Settle on places that are not yours. And learn. Objectively. Those are the natives. We are the whoever's. If, 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 if you want a better school system, ban it. You'll see how quick they'll just switch around. They'll cater to you very, very quickly. The dollar is a very important tool here in America. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. You, you got to come back again. Now, when settlers came and first saw great civilizations in full swing, they were first in awe of First, everybody writing their diary. It was in all these great civilizations. They came out. They gave us gold. They gave us rubies, pearls. So they just gave it to us. They fed us. They clothed us. Then we robbed them. <laughs> <laughs> You're not hearing the history. Is it? They gave us everything. But that wasn't enough. We had to now go and rob and subjugate the people who are giving you something. Now, those people are now learning public education. Your ancestors got public education. Public education is, you remember how you used to go over to the palm tree? And you used to go up to the palm tree, you used to know how to climb the palm tree, get up there, you knew what coconuts to get, what bananas to get, you can, you knew it all. Now, you don't know any of it. There you go. None of it. <laughs> you are a natural human being, natural. You are a human. You are natural to the earth. You're created by the earth. But if somebody dropped you in a forest right now, you die in two days. <laughs> Scientific, by the way, you have 48 hours to live. Drop any modernized human in a forest, and don't not a jungle with his real animals walking around. You done in two hours. <laughs> in a forest, just a forest. Okay, they got stuff walking around the forest, but you can live in a forest. You can get up in a tree in a forest. There's lakes and streams in a forest. You got 48 hours, maybe three days as a living, breathing human being. This is public school education that takes your reality and puts it in their world. The Matrix. <sighs> Don't go there yet. <laughs> Stay plugged. <laughs> this, your, the reality, and I want you to see this, I gotta go slow. Your reality what you perceive as what's possible, what is possible for you, your reality is based on colonizers and beings.